we had a lot of fun letting our creativity juices flow as we decorated our orange jumpsuits for the polar plunge. Okay. Um, the bottom level. She's probably going the same way we are. So. Right. I found this on the ground. Won't it be nice? No, put it down. Hang on, put it back to me. I'm gonna do Nixon. Good night. <laughs> I'm Nixon. No. Like, just buy an empty lot for 20 bucks. Perfect. So those are the warming tents. The white ones. The ones that are on the other side. Those are the blocks of ice that were cut out. Those are some big blocks of ice. And so we come out, follow the path. Go through, jump in, and go right back. I need to get the collars in my brother. Hey there, camera. Hello, Team Orange. Nixon! Bill? Stop. Yeah, so in this picture, we're about to jump into the, we're about to do the plunge, and we found this other team just as taco, so we decided to get a photo, which is pretty neat. It's neat. It's really neat. What else can we do when we're feeling low? So take a deep breath and let it go. You shouldn't be drowning on your own. I didn't decorate on time, uh, the, so I just, I think I decorated, well, I was, like, doing the arms and the legs, uh, mostly for, like, three nights in a row. It took up a lot of the black marker, and then I thought of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and then representing one church, many paths, one mountain, and I think that was a salad from inside the restaurant that I was eating outside. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I, I don't remember, Laura, if you made that picture. Someone took it. I don't know. But I was like, hey, yeah, there I am. So this was the back of my suit. I decided to draw a giant orange with a little smiley face on it because that was the point of the suit. Orange, you glad you're not jumping? And underneath it is a little mermaid thing. I don't know why I drew it. I just did. I think it has like a knife in its hand. And, a, and an eye patch because it's a pirate mermaid or something. I don't know. I just drew it to have fun. It's pretty neat. Yeah, one moment. So in this picture we were uh, taking a photo with the Disney princesses. Since we were going to jump in ten, five to ten minutes. So, like Nathan said, he's eating salad, and I'm also eating uh, some nachos, I think. And I I don't care what happened. I was going to finish those nachos even if I had to jump in with them. They were good nachos. Commentary to this picture? Woohoo! Here too. Oh, 
Oh man, that looks cold. Really, really cold. No, you're fine, you're fine. I don't know. I missed it. Turn it. All right, let's turn it on, guys. Hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I did it! Geronimo! You is cold! Oh, this team says, Orange, you glad you're not jumping? Get the team orange there. Orange, you glad you're not jumping? <laughs> Walk carefully. So Robert and I were trying to figure out how we were going to jump while wearing glasses uh, up to the jump hole so that we could see everything up until the moment that we plunged into the water. So we decided that since I was... I and Laura were jumping in f first. I would give my glasses to Robert, who was behind me. And then I jumped in. And then I started walking to get out of the, the hole. And then I realized, oh, wait, Robert still has my glasses. And I need to grab his glasses. So I had to turn around and walk back to the other end to grab my glasses and his glasses. And then turn around and walk back to the ladder um, and I recall hearing one of those safety workers that were in the water say, man, she must be in the water the longest of anybody so far having to go back and forth for those glasses. The jump happened and our glasses were safe. Safe. Down the walkway, please. <laughs> they were just released at 8 o'clock this morning and made it here in time for the... It's funny that I'm... Um... Uh, holding my nose in this picture because I don't normally do that, but I guess it was for fun. Did it for fun. It looks really interesting the way that we're suspended in air like that. The little girl's face, like way in the background, she's like, whoa. Um, it's funny, like my eyes go straight to her wearing a jacket and hat. Like she can't fathom that we're actually, or people. I'm jumping into water like why are they but even some other people they're just like oh holding themselves like oh god my body's cold just looking at it <laughs> yeah so when i was looking at this picture i was thinking holy shit this water is cold it's freezing and then i jumped in and i was like no that's actually pretty neat i'm gonna get the fuck out now because it hurts and then i got out it was neat was <laughs> Friends of our law enforcement. <laughs> so here's Laura and Laura. All wet. I actually wasn't too cold. This being my second time, third time jumping. All the other times I had gotten out of the water to very cool air temperatures and wind. Polar Punch 2020, we had very little wind and temperatures in the 40s and it was sunny. So it actually felt nice standing out there. I think we were waiting for Nathan and Robert to jump and then come meet us for pictures. Laura definitely was a little bit cold. She one went one and done. She was she was good with that. You can see she has a pretty dragon butterfly on her pocket that she decorated. So here we all are, all four members of Team Orange after our initial jump, wet and excited. It was an amazing event. I was so happy that I had people joining me for the event. So for Nathan, Robert, and Laura, it was their first time ever jumping with the Polar Plunge. I'm happy I could introduce that experience to them. And I feel grateful that as a team, we were able to raise close to $1,300, maybe even a little over $1,300 uh, for the Special Olympics, which this uh, event is held for. Special Olympics of Minnesota. Peace out. Cannonball! Sploosh. So it was a, a gift of fun to go 
um, to this. It was like I was taking two cold showers in the morning when I usually take one. And um, it was fun. Am I wearing my shoes? Oh, I'm wearing the water shoes. Thank you, Laura, for letting me borrow those water shoes. Yeah. I was like, am I wearing my regular shoes? No, I'm not. Um, we jumped in again. I don't remember seeing anyone else who wanted to jump in cold water again. I'm holding my nose again, and I don't know why. Yeah, it was fun to jump in a second time. Definitely felt alive, invigorated after that second jump. And um, it was worth the wait in the line. So... Polar Plunge 2020. America. How did it feel jumping? Great. I feel amazing after the jump. The jump was very cold and shocking. I feel refreshed, revived. How do you, how do you feel, Laura? That's how I feel. Polar Plunge 2020. Woo! Fixed it. How did it feel jumping in? It was cold as hell. And now how do you feel jumping out? Yeah, it feels kind of like a fall day. <laughs> <laughs>